Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's select these layers, Facture and layer, layer Smoke 1, Smoke 2 and this Smoke and Smoke 3. Let's select this Danger Background and Danger Black. Right mouse and pre-compass, add the name Danger. Click OK. Open Composition and select these layers. Let's move to down and let's select these all these layers link to factory and select factory press r and chain rotation like this okay let's change minus 14 and go to select this icon for region of interest select region like this and come session crop come to region of interest okay so in this time, let's create animation. First one, select the danger background and black. Move the front to factory and select this danger black. Press R, make rotation keyframe and go to last second, change one. Let's see. Okay, we can change two. Nice. And select this smoke one, go to solo and search effect wave warp select wave warp let's use for smoke one and change here all edges and let's change wave width and high let's see okay not bad so let's unsolo select this wave warp let's ctrl c for copy select smoke 2 ctrl v for paste and change this minus 45 for random animation okay select smoke 3 ctrl v go to solo let's see okay you can try change some settings nice and change direction and wave speed 2 let's unsolo okay and select the smoke 4 ctrl v change settings like this and speed 2 okay let's try change like this and speed 1 so let's close window and select this factor let's put here and go to pen behind move the anchor point down Clusation 2 and put here press R chain rotation Okay, let's see. Nice, and let's control D for duplicate. And move to here, press R, chain rotation. And let's put like this. Control D again, move to here. Press R, chain rotation. Okay, and control D again, move to here, press R, chain rotation. Okay, not bad. Let's control the again. Change rotation like this. Okay, not bad. So, let's select this again factor layer. And let's select this factor 2. Let's change name. Factory 2. And right mouse, pre-compass. Add name factory 2. Click OK. Open composition and select this. Press R, chain rotation. Put down and right mouse, composition settings. Change sizes like this. Click OK and move to down and chain rotation a little bit like this. OK, so in this time, back to here, select the open danger composition and select these smokes let's copy back to factor 2 ctrl v for paste and put here again ctrl d put here and again put here 
Nice, let's close conversation and select this factory conversation. Let's press R, chain rotation, move the anchor point down, conversation two, and put here. Okay, let's try chain rotation like this. And let's control D, move it down here. Let's duplicate, press R, chain rotation, and chain scale. Let's see. Okay, nice. And select this layer 3. Go to pen behind, move the anchor point down, click tool, and press R. Let's hold Alt, click time icon for open expression. Right here, wiggle. 1, 8. And for down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, let's. Move the anchor point down like this, Clisation tool, and let's move the behind like this here. Okay, select these two layers. Let's right mouse, composition, and three. Click OK. Open composition, and let's select region of interest, and composition crop come to region of interest. Close composition. And let's put here again control D press R chain rotation and put here like this again control D for duplicate chain rotation and let's move it up okay chain scale again control D for duplicate chain rotation and put here and like this chain scale okay nice select this layer cloud and and layer cloud drop right mouse and pre compass add name rain click ok open conversation and select this cloud press R chain rotation and move the anchor point here click tool press R chain rotation and move the inside cloud. So in this time, go to first second. Let's press P, make new pass in keyframe, and go to some five keyframes, and move it down. Let's see. Make keyframes easy. Okay, and move to left, and go to back. Let's hold shift, press S, open scale, make scale keyframe, go to here, chain scale 0. Make keyframes easy. And select scale keyframes, move to here. Okay, select position keyframe, move to right, and this, move to here. Go to last position keyframe and move to down. Okay, that's good. And select this layer drop, Control D, and move to right. Let's press P. Select two position two frames, and go to last position two frame, and move to right. Let's move to up. Let's see. Okay, let's Control D again for duplicate. Press P. Select position two frames, and go to last position two frame. Move to here and move to up. Let's select this first position keyframe, move to down. OK. And let's move to right here, select position keyframes, move to like this. OK, and select this layer drop, Ctrl D, and press P. Select position keyframes, go to first second, and move to right or move to down, select all drop layers, go to edit and split layer, delete, select these layer drops, right mouse, pre compass, add name drops, click ok, open conversation, select work area, and here, close conversation, back to rain, and let's control D, again control D, let's see, select this layer cloud, move to up, Okay, select Clouds Compositions, Control D, move to up, 
and move to right select compensations again control d move to up and move to right again control d move to up and move to right okay so back to compensation and uh, let's see here select this compensation cloud let's open compensation and select region of interest select region like this let's see okay back to compensation and crop come to region of interest back to main compensation and select this cloud move the anchor point here Clearization tool and play and press r chain rotation press s chain scale and put here let's see okay and let's go to fx processors effect wiggle select this wiggle position let's use for rain and chain this 25 let's see nice we can try chain this 20 okay and let's control d for duplicate move to here press r chain rotation again control d move to here press r chain rotation okay select these layers and make compensation let's add here object one click ok open compensation and select these layers let's select this main layer other layers link to main select main and move the anchor point up clearization tool press r chain rotation and press s let's chain scale chain rotation a little bit like this and select region of interest go to compensation and crop come to region of interest let's chain rotation a little bit Okay, so let's search FX Wave Warp and let's use Wave for Fire 3. Go to Solo. Let's see. Okay, select here all edges and go to Solo. Let's change these settings. Okay, let's try change for better results. Copy wave warp effect and select this fire to control V and change this minus 90 and fire one control V and change like this and speed two. Okay, not bad. Close compositions and select this object one, press S, change scale. Move the anchor point down and let's move to up and chain scale, press R, chain rotation and move to here. Let's control D again, move to down another object too. So finally, let's open composition rain and I want to add here lighting and let's go to pen tool and make line like this clearization tool and go to fill select none for turn off inside color and stroke width and go to color select here color yellow and go to add let's use trim path open trim path here and change end zero at first second and make end Q frame go to here change 100% go to back make start Q frame go to here change 100% make Q frames easy let's see okay nice and go to last Q frame and edit split layer delete and go to here let's search effect glow select glow let's use for shape one and change glow let's use glow again change glow like this
Okay, so select this cloud. Let's use glove for clouds and change settings like this. Okay, and let's hold alt click this icon right here. Wiggle one eight. Okay, let's try this. 5-8 Nice And select this shape layer 1 Ctrl D, move to here Again Ctrl D, move to here Again and again Okay, select composition And back to main composition Let's see, select work area here For four seconds so finally let's create background go to layer new and solid add name background select color black click ok and move to behind all these layers and go to fs process search fa gradient ramp select gradient let's use for background solid layer and right now let's go to start color Select like this, click OK and end color, select dark blue, click OK and change ramp shape, radial ramp, select this point, move to down and this point, move to like this, OK, you can change like this and end color, click OK and scatter 100% so select this background let's control D and delete gradient ramp and let's search here star bust select this star bust let's use for background change name star and let's change solid color let's hold control shift Y change color white click ok and change speed 0 that 0 1 and scatter okay and spacing size like this okay that's good so final let's create null object right mouse new and null Hold Ctrl, double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center, click station 2 and go to align. If you don't see here align, go to windows and enable. So click this and this icon for move to center null object. Let's move to like this. And in this time select all these layers without background and star layer. Link to null object, select null and press R, make rotation Q frame. And go to last second chain rotation like this also let's move to down okay hold shift press s make scale q frame go to last second and chain scale 105 nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck